Hi, I'm Don, here to talk to you about the new 26BH by Jayco. Jayco is the number one selling travel trailer in the United States and Canada, and I'm going to show you why. This particular model is 29 foot, 1 inch long. It's under 5,000 pounds. So what's real important for you to know is that with all the other travel trailers out there, you're going to see so many features in this one that you can actually tow. Let me get started at the front here. First of all, you have the double 30 pound bottles with auto changeover, so you have two 30 pound propane tanks with an auto changeover system inside. With a nice cover that allows you to access, you can access it without having to take the cover off. Most travel trailers in this price point, you actually have to take the cover off or you, know, you might not even have a cover and you have two 20 pound bottles. So a lot cheaper designs out there on the market, not with the Jayco, you're going to get this high end design, double 30 pound bottles with a nice cover on the top for you to access. And those of you who are experienced campers, you're going to know that's really important because you don't want to have to pull off your cover every time. On the front here, you're going to notice it has a nice radius design. One of the great features of the radius design for the J-Flight is that it actually deflects wind really, really well. So when you're going down the road, you're going to get a little bit better gas mileage, a lot better aerodynamics, and again, that's all standard with the Jayco J-Flight. Front diamond plate as well. At this particular model that you can see online for that price that you see there, you're going to see that this comes with a ton of features. The front diamond plate is one of them. One of the things about the diamond plate is it actually protects road debris. So if you have like rocks that fly up or mud or anything like that, you're going to see a lot of travel trailers out there after one, two, three years being used, they have a lot of dents on it. With the J-Flight, it's not going to happen. This diamond plate is going to keep it nice and looking new all the way, all, the whole time of your ownership. One of the great things too I like to talk about with Jayco is their frames. And I want to point it out while we're up here because it's very important. Jayco uses what's called an integrated A-frame. An integrated A-frame means the frame, the front tongue of the travel char actually crosses through the front I-beam or for the front cross member and attaches, is welded to the actual I-beam underneath the unit. And if our camera guy can get a good shot underneath here, he's going to be able to see where the, the actual frame the actual cross, the, 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 the tongue is actually welded to the cross members up front. And that's really important because most brands in this price point, they actually tack weld here where Jayco actually crosses right through the front cross beam. And the, the thing with that is that it's going to make sure that the tongue will never break off or anything like that. You see some unfortunate events that happen on the road with people that have cheaper travel chores where the front tongue can crack. It'll never happen with a Jayco because it has what's called the integrated A-frame. As we move around the front here, you're going to see that Jake also comes with four leveling jacks all the way around the frame. That's a big deal. These are 5,000 pound capacity each. Again, that's included with the price you see there online. Front storage here passes all the way through to the other side. I want to make sure we get a good shot of this. Huge front storage area. So it's also got the upgraded linoleum with a plywood floor. Most brands in this price point are going to use a wafer board flooring. Jayco actually uses the plywood flooring. and have this huge pass-through storage up in the front. As you move around this side here too, you're going to see it has the actual bracket for a gas grill and it comes with a hookup. This is standard and again, this is included for the price you see online. Most travel chillers, again, and even if they're close to this price, are not going to come with a gas hookup outside. This is great because you can hook up a propane lantern, extra cooker, whatever you want. It's there for you to have it. That's what's great about the Jayco. It includes so much stuff. As we move down the side here as well, you're going to see a ton of features on this unit, which I'm so excited about. First of all, the electric awning. If you get a good shot of the awning, you're going to see that this is the upgraded awning. Just one touch of a button and the awning goes in and out. It's so much easier than a lot of the cheaper travel chores. You have to you know, go up and fumble with the, the cloth and get your little awning wand and that kind of stuff. This is so easy. You press a button, in and out, very, very simple. The kids can do it. So we, we love that feature. That comes with it, standard for the price you see online. Another great thing with Jayco is they use a 30 inch wide door. So the door is four inches wider than most travel chores in this price point. And it's also a radius design. If you look at the top of the door, you're going to see that it's also it's a radius design. And why that's important, let me grab a little thing here. If the awning was out right now, you'd be able to see that this could come close to the awning. With a lot of other brands, when you have a square door, what happens is it can tear the awning. Again, a lot of those experienced campers know that if you have a square door, that can happen. With the Jayco, 30-inch wide, extra-large door, radius design, big, big plus. I forgot to mention that, too, on the compartment doors. One of the things in that front storage compartment, we noticed that it's actually a radius door. And the reason that's important is because, again, if you ever bump into something, it's not going to be a vacation ender there with the kids where you get a scrape or anything. With Jayco, nice, smooth, radius design, it's a big deal. Again, as we move down the side, a ton of things on this unit. It's hard to kind of get them all fit into the web video because there's so many features. You get so pumped up and so excited about it. I want to make sure I mention all of them to you guys at home. So you have the exterior grab handle. It's the extra large grab handle. This is really, really nice because you come home from one of those 
nights by the bonfire where you maybe, uh, you know, had a couple extra, and you got this handle here for you to grab in, walk inside. You don't have to, you know, grab, fumble with a little tiny handle. It's the nice upgraded grab handle there for the, for the 26BH, which is great. I love that. Double entry step. This is a big, big plus. First of all, with Jayco, they're a wider step. This is a 10 inch step. Most of them are eight inch. So one of the big pluses too, is this is a double entry. So it has two steps, not just one. That's a big, big plus. Also, if we can get a shot underneath here, you can see a couple things. It's a lit entry step, which means you have a light underneath there. So again, when you're coming home from that bonfire and you want to be able to make it in perfectly and safe and not you know, miss a step, you have a lit entry step. Plus, to get, this gives you a good shot of their I-beam frame. Jayco's I-beam frame is actually a full one inch thicker than any other of our closest competitors. So it's a big plus because, again, everything's built on top of that frame. As we move down the side here, you're going to see a couple other great features. If we move up top here, you're going to see the exterior speakers. The exterior speakers are for the entertainment system. Most travel chores in this price point, again, you're not going to have exterior speakers. If it's something you want, you're going to have to pay 500 bucks more for it. With Jayco, it's included. As we continue to move down the side, you're going to see, again, a ton of storage. Tons of storage. That's what's great for this model. You know, we call it the 26BH guys online. You see that there. But I always remind people, this is actually 29 foot 1 inch. And the reason that's important is because you see some of our competitors actually talk about their 26 footer. This is actually 29 foot 1 inch. And you can tell when you get inside one of these. Huge amount of storage. I want to make sure we get a good shot of the storage here. That's accessible both inside and outside the unit. As we continue to move to the back, I'm going to talk about the water heater here. It's not a real exciting thing, but it's very important for customers to know. This is a gas and electric water heater. So this water heater works on both gas and park electric. That comes no charge with this model. It's also what's called DSI, direct spark ignition. You press a button, it'll light right up. You don't have to come outside with a match or anything like that. That's a very important feature to mention because a lot of brands that are in this price point, you have to come outside with a match, light it up. None of that with this. Press a button, lights up all by itself and you have the option of running on propane or electric. As we move around the back here, there's so many great features on the back of this travel trailer to show out, and I want to make sure I point out to you. First of all, I want to get a good shot of the roof. Notice the roof is crowned. Again, any travel trailer that I know of in this price point, they're not doing a crowned roof. And why that's so important is because it improves the water runoff. Again, with a lot of travel trailers, people worry about leaks and that kind of stuff never going to happen with the Jayco. One of the big reasons for that is because you have a crown roof. It doesn't allow any puddling up there. Also, the roof is a rubber roof with a 12-year warranty, and it's 3 ace plywood roof decking. It's called a walkable roof. The reason that's so important is because this roof is strong enough for you to be able to get up there and walk around. Most travel trailers in this price point are going to do a rubber roof and then a Luon backer to that. The Luon is so flimsy and flexible that it's going to crack or break any heavy snow load or any walking up there. With the Jayco, you don't have to worry about that. 3 ace plywood roof decking, rubber roof with a 12-year warranty. Again, that nice crown roof. As we move down the back here, also gives me a good opportunity to remember the, to tell you about the thickness of the aluminum. With the Jayco siding, this is double the thickness of any other brand. Jayco also screws every inch along the side of the unit underneath their molding. So it's going to hold together a lot better than other brands. And being a thicker aluminum, the siding being thicker, double the thickness, if you ever get a hail, hit by hail or any kind of ding or rock, it's just not going to dent like the other brands. That's so important because 10, 15 years down the road, you want your travel tour to look new. That's going to happen with the Jayco. Also, I want to point out the bumper. Again, there's so many great features on this. I'm so excited to talk about. It's hard to fit them all in on the web video, but I want you guys at home to know what we're looking at here. One of the things about the bumper is that it's really important to see that this is actually attached to the I-beam. Okay, the bumper is attached to the I-beam, and it's actually welded. Most travel chores, their bumpers aren't either attached to the I-beam or they aren't welded. They're actually sometimes attached to the floor. This bumper is actually welded to the actual I-beam on the travel chore. Big, big plus. Again, on the back here, I want to make sure we get a good shot of those jacks. If you can see, see both jacks, you see there's two of them. Again, you have two in the back, two in the front, four leveling jacks all the way around the frame of this, all included with the Jayco, 5,000 pound capacity each. Great, great unit. One of the things I want to point out too, because you might have got it in the shot, is the ladder. The ladder on this particular unit is actually optional. You can add it online. It's not included for that price that's online, but it's the only item that you can add. It's a couple hundred bucks, but there is a ladder that's optional. As we move around the side here too, there's a couple other great features I want to point out. I love this on the Jayco, the outside shower. This is awesome because you have hot and cold running water. 
A lot of people say, oh, Don, why is that so important, you know, an outside shower? I'm not going to take a shower outside. Yeah, that's good. But, you know, I have a dog. We have a yellow lab, and I have two daughters. And what happens is sometimes they just get messy from the beach or playing around in the woods, and you're not going to take them inside all the time to kind of throw them in the shower. Turn the hot and cold running out water out here, or tell them to do it if they'll do something for themselves, and actually have them hose themselves down and get cleaned up for dinner. This is great. I love the outside shower. It's one of my mo favorite features, and it's included online at that price you see. As we continue to move down the side, a couple great features I want to point out here when you look at the wheels and the running gear on the travel trailer. First of all, Jayco uses 15-inch Goodyear tires, radial. So why is that so important? Most travel trailers are going to use 14-inch. They're not going to use Goodyear. So they're going to use smaller tires. They're not going to be Goodyears. They're going to be not going to be radial tires all the time. So these are steel-belted radial 15-inch Goodyear brand tires. They're not some... Taiwan brand tire that's going to blow apart when you're down the road for 100 miles on your trip, which is important to know because there's a lot of brands out there that are going to throw in the cheapest tire, the cheapest everything. That's not Jayco. Jayco uses the highest brand appliances, highest brand tires, highest brand everything inside the unit. I want to make sure I'm pointing that out to you. 15-inch Goodyear radial tires. Easy lube axles. So this thing here, you can pull this cap off, you can lube the axles. Very important for maintenance on a travel chore that you lube the axles at least once a year. With Jayco, you just pull the cap off. You grease the axles, very, very, very simple. Independent suspension, hard to get a shot of that right now, almost impossible, but independent suspension. Why is that important? Real smooth ride going down the road. Your, your camper's not gonna just get bounced apart. You know, a lot of different brands, they use what's called leaf spring suspension. Leaf spring, folks, is actually the suspension that's on cargo trailers. They're on boat trailers. This is a, this is a home on wheels. You need independent suspension. With Jayco, you have it. Another great feature, up inside the wheel well. This is a galvanized steel wheel well. It's real important because most travel chores use two different other things. One, either ABS plastic, which is going to crack, you know, when you get a stone hit at it or something like that, or they actually don't have a wheel well at all. That's they use the bottom of their camper. It's hard to imagine, but that's what most brands use. With Jayco, galvanized steel wheel well. Real, real important. A couple other great features I want to point out on the side right above the, uh, right above the wheels here is your cable or satellite input. This is great because you know, if you want to get, uh, go to a place where you have park cable or if you want to get a satellite system hooked up to it, Jayco actually comes with it. No charge. All included. Comes with the, uh, let's see, a 25-foot power cord over here. It's a 30-amp power cord, 25-foot. That's included. We give you an RV starter kit with a 15-amp adapter. It's all included. No charge with the price you see online. Another good point for me to remember to tell you, we don't charge dealer fees. We don't charge like a prep fee or anything like that. Most dealers are going to charge $350 to $600 prep fee. We do not charge that. It's our price online. That's it. So as we move around the rest of the front here, you're going to see you actually have the pass-through storage. We talked about it on the other side. We mentioned the uh, actual pass-through where it goes through. This is, this is just the other side of here. Great, great amount of storage on this. One of the great things I love. Okay, as we walk inside here, again, there's so many great features I'm so excited to point out to you. So I'm going to kind of try to hit them as quickly as I possibly can and make sure I'm getting everything through to you. So again, all Jayco uses is all high-end cabinetry. You're going to notice solid wood cabinetry all the way. As we're going through the video, you're going to notice a bunch of solid wood cabinetry all the way through. Jayco makes all their own cabinetry. Real important for me to tell you. I want to get a good shot of the window treatments here. Real important to me because, again, window treatments are something that are going to make it give you that real high-end home feel inside. Jayco has that boxed valances, okay? These are actual solid boxed valances. Most travel trailers in this price point are just going to have a curtain. They're also just going to use blinds, regular blinds. With Jayco, they're using actually the pleated shades. The pleated shades are so much nicer. They don't rattle. They don't bang around. You pull them up and down real easy. Big, big plus. So pleated shades, boxed valances, increased window treatments. Shirt closets on both sides. It's going to be kind of hard to get a good shot, but he'll, he'll get it here. Shirt, deep shirt closets on both sides. So on both sides, there's hanging room. Let me open that one there for you so you can get a good shot here. You can hang shirts. You can hang anything you want in there. It's great to have the nice hanging shirt closets in, on the sides. There are also nightstands. Two nightstands on both sides with an outlet. A lot of people talk about this. Again, experienced campers, they kind of sometimes say, well, I need to add an outlet here, add an outlet there. With Jayco, you not only have outlets on one side, you got outlets on both sides with a big, big nightstand. Big plus. Nice headboard, nice treatment headboard. Also, when you lift up the bed, ton of storage here. Notice how it lifts up really easy. I just did that with one hand. Ton of storage. Has these gas support struts that hold the bed up itself. Big, big plus with the J-Flight. You're actually going to not have to hold the bed up. It's also plywood construction. 
Very important you notice that here. This is solid plywood. Most travel trailers in this price point are all going to use a ton of wafer board. You know, you see wafer board everywhere, wafer board floor, wafer board bed supports, wafer board everywhere. Wafer board is basically, in my mind, is another term for sawdust. Just a bunch of chipboard put together with Jayco and all solid plywood construction. Big, big plus. When I talk about plywood, it's important for me to talk about the floor. The floor on the Jayco is all plywood construction. This is three-quarter inch plywood, folks. Most brands are all going to use wafer board. This is plywood construction. It's a big, big plus. As we talk about furniture, real important for me to point out the, the tag here. One of my other coworkers here, Matt, just told me, hey, Don, make sure you make, point out the tag, because I love to point out the tag. Jayco makes all their own furniture, folks. When you go in the other brands, make sure you look at their furniture. I have nothing against Taiwan or China. I just think that everything should be made here in the United States, and we should support our own you know, people that live in our country. And I think when you look at this and you see, you know, Made in the USA, made by Jayco. An actual tag that says Jayco made all their own furniture. It's a big plus. You're not going to see that in any other brand. I'm really confident in saying that. You're going to see made by some company, you know, far, far away land. And I think it's real important we keep our, keep our dollars here in the U.S. So nice upgraded furniture made by Jayco. Huge sink. Great feature I want to put out here. Comes with sink covers. Don't have to pay extra for that. Again, a lot of people want to charge you for this or that. Not going to happen with the Jayco. Huge sink cover, big deep sink, gooseneck faucet, big plus. Love their sink. As we point out other kitchen features, you're going to see this has a three burner range with a high output. This front one burns a big wide flame, so you can put a big frying pan there. That's a big plus. Comes with an oven. Again, a lot of travel chores don't have an oven. People say, oh, well, why do I need an oven? Look, you want to throw in like a couple pizzas and you don't want to have that soggy microwave feeling. With Jayco, you don't have to worry about that. You get the oven. You can throw in a batch of cookies. You can throw in something you actually want to have in the oven. It's great to have it. Ton of features again, folks. As, you, as we can go around this thing, I can spend forever on this. Full extension ball ball bearing drawer glides. Okay, so all their cabinets, you're going to see they have full extension, which means the full length of the cabinet. Ball bearing drawer glides, so it's not rubbing on wood. Most travel chores in this price point are going to rub on wood. With Jayco, full extension metal ball bearing drawer glides. Also solid wood. Jayco makes all their own cabinetry, folks. This is a big, big plus. Huge, huge feature is Jayco's woodworking. 98% of Jayco's employees are Amish or Mennonite. That's really important to know because the Amish and Mennonite are known for their quality craftsmanship. With Jayco, you're going to get that. Another shot I want to get here is above on the central air. So this is central air. Has, it's ducted all the way through the roof. So this is the main unit here. These are the ducts that run through it. The ducts are not only directional, so you can change the direction, but you can turn them on and off. Most of the cheaper travel trailers, even if they have central air, which most don't, they're not going to be directional vents, or you can't shut them off. So what happens is they have a vent there, but you can't close it. The problem with that is if you're in the bunk area or if you're in the front bedroom and you want to change how much AC you're getting, you can't do it. With Jayco, you absolutely can. One of the great features I want to talk about is the layout on this. You have the dinette here also that makes into a bed. Again, all made by Jayco, all their woodwork, all their cabinetry, all their countertops made by Jayco. Solid dinette table here makes into a bed as well. As we pan up here, you're going to see there's the actual, comes with the DV, excuse me, the uh, compact disc player. And so it's got CD player, AM, FM, and it runs inside and outside the unit. Again, notice the box valance window treatments, the actual pleated shades, huge window. And over here is the control for the central AC and the heat all in one area. Notice that the controls are in one spot, so it's really easy to control the AC and the heat. If you get a shot of the floor, too, here, you're going to see where the vents are for the heat. One of the big reasons that's a plus is Jayco ducks their heat through the floor like you have in a real residential home. A lot of travel chores will actually throw their ducks instead of in the floor. They'll throw them in the sides of their compartments. But the problem with that is you got a lot of ducting, piping, running through the compartments, and it takes up your storage. With Jayco, instead of having the heat ducts run through... The, the cabinets, they actually leave your cabinets for storage space. Huge plus. More storage with the Jayco. This is a larger refrigerator that's in any other travel, travel chiller that I know of in this price point. It's also a Norcold brand. There's two different kind, uh, two different brand refrigerators in the RV industry. There's Norcold and there's Dometic. Norcold is the one that's made in the United States. Dometic is not. So you get a good shot of the refrigerator here. Huge, huge space. It's double door, so you have the extra... Um, side, extra large fridge here, and then the second door up here for the freezer. Also notice the temperature setting. 
If you get a good shot of the settings here, you're going to see that you actually can adjust the temperature with the Norcold refrigerator. With most brands, you actually can't adjust the temperature setting. You actually just set it to on or off, and that's it. So this is a temperature set refrigerator. It's Norcold brand. This is the one you want any travel trailer that you get. As we move to the back here, <clears throat> I'm going to point out that this has got a great bathroom. Absolutely fabulous bathroom. It's got the porcelain toilet, so it's an upgraded porcelain toilet, and it's foot flush. One of the great things with the foot flush is that it's very sanitary. Most travel tours, you've got to reach around back to flush. It's just not sanitary to do that. With Jayco, it's a foot flush toilet. As we pan and look at the shower area here, this is great. The shower's got the ABS tub surround, so it's an ABS tub surround all the way around. It's not a Luan panel. It's got the skylight above the shower, so it's just a great shower. It's a great setup. And it's got what I like to call the Hampton Inn uh, curve here, so it gives you a lot more room in the shower for the shower curtain. It's kind of nice, so big shower curtain, upgraded shower area. This is the kind of shower you'd see in a big Class A motorhome, folks, and you have this here with the, with the Jayco. So one of the great things about this model is the layout. You can see the bunks there. You got the full double bed on the bottom and then the actually bunk over top. So you have a ton of sleeping in this model. With Jayco, you're going to get that. Tons of sleeping, higher quality, best price possible. Basically, folks, I just want to say that as we wrap up this web video, I hope you see that the Jayco 26BH is the highest quality travel trailer you can buy in the market. We're absolutely going to have the best price. Come on down and see us. We'll be more than happy to take care of you. Or pick up the phone, give us a call, tell us which one you want. Thanks and have a great day.